Okay, we are here today looking at a lawn <clears throat> that has died back in several portions here in the front, primarily because of the shade from the, this dense canopy pear tree here. It's a lot of broadleaf weed. Some of it's hard to control. You got some wild violets and so forth. Some of it's summer, summer weeds. This is black medic, which is hard to control. This is this is nimble will, which is a, a summer perennial. It comes back year after year. Grows much like Bermuda. We're collecting some soil samples, trying to get a feel for the physical properties of the soil how deep we can go with the core, whether there's any thatch, how deep, if so, do some spot pH checks. Uh, looks like there's a drainage swale here between the two homes. This also is primarily a, uh, just a variety of non-desirables, broadleaf weeds, the nimble wheel. Uh, and going on into the back, it's the same situation. A lot of planting. Uh, just a really uh, terrible infestation of planting. It's whatever lawn was here has just given given way, and nothing's growing except except uh, weeds. So. I'm sure the homeowner has called us because he wants to try to introduce some uh, some desirable turf grass into into these areas. Uh, it's not clear where the the line, the property line, is back here. It looks like the lawns just kind of bleed into each other. Um, probably somewhere around this big tree, this side of this big tree. many of these areas we won't be able to really get into and do any work because of all of the tree roots that really do damage to the machinery. Uh, there's, there's no way that we can do any good in this area because of the tree roots. This area has got such an infestation of wild violets that we'll, we'll be able to seed a bit in here, but I don't think we'll be able to disrupt the, the number of violets that are here enough to uh, to really see the grass compete well, the new grass compete well, and and uh, make a stand here. So up here again we're looking at some areas that won't support any uh, efforts to try to see. We pretty much just have to stay uh, on the line. This just kind of comes right down through here and stays inside of these, uh, these large it's pompous grass, or it's variegated ornamental grass, whatever it might be. And then just the broad area here. And then of course around in the front where we where we started. So there's there's probably well we'll just we'll just do the five thousand square feet that are the the will be the most uh, visible and it'll make it'll uh, make for a, uh, at least a hopeful outcome. It's a large tree that just kind of lodged and fell right over here I guess during a big rain. So, this is kind of the scope of the work. 
and uh, once we do the front and the far side the right side we'll only have enough leftover area to do the I guess the, the heart, really the heart of the back lawn. And so we're back here again. So, this is the story of this lawn. There's, there's probably a lot going on in this soil that would be good to test and find out about to better understand why this lawn is not has just pretty much given way to uh, just a variety of weeds, a hodgepodge of weeds. So that's all we've got, and we'll be in touch. I'm out.